you're not a hustler, you keep getting in front of you just can't flip it. You ain't really got it, you P Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where we just got a new Glock, <laughs> that's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac, know what's up, we know on the mill tick. They told a similar story, but hers had a little extra in it, you know, talking about this was weird and that was weird and this and that, but you know, I'm leaning more on the side of that. If he was that weird, why did you stay? Or if he was that, was he weird when he was spending that money when y'all went to? What up, though? You already know how it go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You dig? Uh, the Dante, Dante uh, Smith Network show, show network. My bad, I'm a little bit over, all, all over the place. Um, we was at work listening to your interview, and, and, and brothers that I work with told me about it. So I had to come out here and address a few things that you said. First and foremost, I'm not negotiating with no terrorists in my dog face voice. If you told somebody not to work with me, after multiple people said, oh, Bill Feeney said you and him beefing, what conversation could me and him have? Why would I care to have a conversation with him? I don't want to be, I, I'm not pressured to be no man's friend. Now, if it was a woman, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can have a conversation, baby. Yeah, come on through. You know what I'm saying? I might, I might get a little lucky. You know what I'm saying? And luck is when opportunity meets preparation and I'm prepared. You did? Yeah, I I, I, I have a conversation. But a man, I could give two cares less about it. That girl told her, her truth. And see, this is the problem right here. First off, let me say this too before we get into what the problem is. Bill Feezy got a lot of people, a lot of men, men. Look at his fan base. I think like 77% of them, 78, no, I think it was 80, maybe 80% 80 of them are men. A lot of them from the Atlanta region. So that, say, that says all you need to know about y'all. And I'm saying it without saying it. That says all we need to know about who his followers are. And whoever following them and not listening to logic. Not listening to me when I said I don't have a problem with it. We know what you are. We know what you want. We know you got something going on up here that ain't right. You feel me? So if you follow what I'm saying, you know what I'm talking about. Um, nevertheless, too, I'm a little disappointed in the network. This is why I'm disappointed because I felt like you made excuses for him. Which I, I did, too, but I feel like you made excuses for him not based on fact, not based on logic. I don't care if a woman 22 years old and I fly her out. I'm not. I, I think that if I fly a woman out and she's 22 years old, 23, 24, 26, I believe she know I'm going to want to do something with her. But she has every right to pull out anytime she y'all could be in the middle of doing y'all thing. And she say, stop. And when she say stop, like, no, no, stop, baby. No, 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 no. When she say the real stop, stop. Okay, I, look, I'm not feeling this. You stop. A woman got the right to to, 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 to say this, then just like you do. You, you do what I'm talking about? You got the right to say yes or no at any point. Even after you say yes, you can say no. Even after you say no, you can say yes. It's your body. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I, I, I support pro-choice or nothing like that, but I'm just saying it, it's your body when it comes to fornication and uh, passion. What y'all fail to realize is that I said multiple times, I don't have a problem with dog. Let girl tell her story. I'm convinced y'all hate women. That fan base, y'all hate women. You know what I'm saying? You hate women. And I'm standing on it. I don't want to talk to a Bill Feezy. I don't want to be friends. I'm not pressured to be friends with no man in this world. If you are a man and we get into an altercation or a disagreement or whatever you want to call it, whatever we get into and you, and, and you violate, I'm straight. Like, I'm good. Especially if I don't know you. Why would I want to sit up and negotiate with you and come to an understanding with you? Just keep my name out your mouth. I keep your name out my mouth. Those two got bigger platforms than me, but in the state of Michigan, it's me, for sure. In, in Detroit, it's me, for sure. In Flint, it's me, for sure. I seen that when I went out when I went out there. In Pontiac, it's me, for sure. Grand Rapids, it's me, for sure. In the state of Michigan, because y'all got to realize, too, I ain't just got a YouTube presence. 
I, before I sold my TikTok, yeah, 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 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, uh, uh, what was it, 3.7 million views when I when I sold it. Instagram, I post a, one video every other week, 500,000 a month at worst. Check the stats. I, I upload the video on, 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 on Instagram. It's me. Yeah, it's me. I'm the biggest five. I'm the biggest mo. Period. Nobody. I don't care, I don't care what your YouTube numbers say. I, I, none of that. I'm the biggest. Because it, it just ain't YouTube with me. And I ain't been braggadocious or bragging about BS. If it can't be monetized and I ain't making millions off of it, hundreds of thousands off of it, ain't nothing to brag about. It's just the facts. You put me in Detroit, you put me in Flint, up in this, anybody from the state that's in our lane, they not, it's no, it's no comparison at all. At all. And I really been at MDOC. I really been with the 55 Bloods, the 82 Bloods, Red Zone, 4820 Die, uh, um, uh, G Touch, Twin, and them, four, two twins, all that. Like, uh, look at the responses that I get on the gram from Royce to Fat Man, the, 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 the four, two cheese, the, the anybody. Like, I got, a, I got something going on. I guess major hitters know what, what what's going on over here and the power and the influence that, that I could possibly, you know, project. Like I said, I just got off work. We was listening to this, or well, I'm still at work, but. I got to work we, at work. Listen to this. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Don, you, can, you cannot make excuses for a guy that's not based on facts. Now, when you say, okay, oh, he did eight years, he might be socially awkward, plus the YouTube fame. I get it. And for those that say I duped him into an interview done like this, this is like me and his third, fourth, fifth interview. Yeah. He'll tell you that. Got no problems with him. He doing his job. He covering what he's supposed to cover. You know what I'm saying? It's just the fact that it, this, this is so logical, right? This is just what you just don't get. I didn't make the story. I gave somebody a voice. What was I supposed to say? Oh, no, it's Bill Feezy, the guy in Atlanta out of all places with the biggest fan base in Atlanta with 80%, 79% of his followers men. I'm supposed to say, oh, no, yeah, it's him. I ain't going to say nothing. No, I'm straight. She told her story. Like I say, I went seek counsel before I interviewed her because I really didn't like, I'm like, oh, it really ain't my lane, can of like, get a black woman a voice. Get a black woman a voice. This would be a good look. You should you should go ahead and do that. And I'm like, it don't have nothing to do with color, bro. But it's, it's like, you know, I'm going to defend men. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't the right, but when it comes to being weirdos and creepos, uh, nah, I'm straight. You feel me? They're like, nah, give her the voice. I gave her the voice. I didn't make the assumptions. I didn't expound on anything. She told her story and her truth, just like he told his story and his truth. Everybody knew this. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I don't care how many of his fans get in my comments or on the video. I, I don't. You think I care? Yeah, I read the comments. Yeah, I might got something to say about it. But at the end of the day, I ain't losing no sleep about it at all. I am not in the business of being friends or, excuse me, overextending myself to be friends with men, especially from Atlanta. You out of there. I don't care. It's all content. It's all monetization. Y'all don't get it. Y'all take it personal. I don't. I don't, but I'm going to give you what you want to hear. I'm going to give you the responses. But, Mr. Smith, don't make no excuses for awkward behavior unless you're giving facts, which the only facts that could be for his awkward behavior, which we heard in the messages, uh, the voice recordings, that she was kind of like so spooked off she went and told his um, roommate, Right? She told his roommate he get mad about it. She, obviously, she was spooked about it. Oh, why did she stay, Mr. Smith? Obviously, this is a traumatized woman. Obviously. She said somebody hit her with a car, and she would deal with him, but wouldn't deal with somebody else that did it. Obviously, this is a woman who has been through trauma. The same reason why her son Campbell 
went back to his sexual abuser in African Mambada. Stockholm Syndrome. The same reason them girls shut up in that house in Ohio, I forget his name, Castro, had babies by him. They could have escaped way earlier than what they did, but they didn't because of mental defects and trauma. I work with a sexual assault advocacy group. We do not ever blame the victim. We listen to him, and if it's a reason, we stick by him. Not saying this girl was sexually assaulted, but did she put herself in a weird situation? Yes. Did he let her hammer, ham him? Yes. Because if I fly you up, what you talking about? You going to chill with friends and stuff like that? You just played me. Nah, I ain't gonna go and chill with friends. You you here for me. And if not, I'm gonna put you in that hotel room, fly you out the next day. If not, get your own flight. Period. Ain't no chick gonna be sitting up recording me doing this, 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 and that, being weird. And you know, and, and I've been weird. Don't get it twisted. I've been weird before. Everybody been weird with a female before, man. But not to the extent where she running and scared and all like come on, man. But like I said, a lot of you guys hate women. Especially black women. Now, what if it was a white girl that told that story? Imagine what it would be. Way bigger than what it is now. I gave her a voice. I didn't say she was right. I didn't say she was wrong. All I'm saying is, if you fly a chick out, that does not mean you have the right to have sex with her. That does not mean that she's expecting that. You don't know what type of environment she comes from. She could be from an environment where they hip to if a dude fly you out, this is expected. Or she could be from an environment where she's like, okay, you fly me out, we have a good time, and you, you know, you just enjoy my company. It's not on us to assume. She said she wasn't on that type of time. They never talked about it. That is what it is. That's what she said. But nevertheless, though, I spoke my piece on it, Mr. Smith. You got to come to the front of the congregation and talk because it seems like you're trying to backtrack off and discredit that woman and you got no right to discredit that woman. Just, you feel me? Right now, you should just be right here in the middle. Pause. Right here in the middle. Right? And all y'all fans or of his, get in the comments, talk all you want to, say what you want to, spam if you want to, report if you want to. Hey, I don't give a damn. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Hustler. My Cassidy voice. You did give about a Bill Feezy fam and, and us having a conversation. I go about having no conversation with him. If you want to talk, I'll talk to a reasonable man. But it's so much more stuff I know and so and so much more dirt I get. I'm telling you, like right now, I'm in a situation where I told a homie about a, a rapper, a big rapper. I told him about some paperwork. But I didn't even expose him. I didn't even put it out there. I ain't gonna tell everybody. I don't care. I just told you to protect you. You spread it around to everybody else and make it a big deal. You can do that. But I'm not gonna participate in dragging that man down. I'm a civilian. I ain't clout chasing. But if clout come with the chasing, or the chasing come with the clout, well, sign me up. If it make dollars, sign me up for anything. If it make dollars, pause. I gotta say that because y'all, y'all, y'all fan base in Atlanta. Pause, pause. Yeah. You're not a hustler. You keep getting in front of. You just can't flip it. You ain't really got a UP diddy. You be remixing. Oh, where we just got a new Glock? <laughs> That's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac know what's up. We know on the mill tick.